Hi everyone, in this course you are going to learn the basics of the Fibonacci retracement tool. To be able to use the Fibonacci retracement tool, you have to differentiate between two important moves when it comes to trending markets. Impulsive moves and retracement moves. If you can't differentiate between these two important moves, you will never be able to use the Fibonacci retracement tool correctly. So what is an impulsive move? The impulsive moves are those that push prices higher in an uptrend market and drive prices lower in a downtrend market. Look at this example. This is the Euro GPY for our chart. The market is trending up. This is the first impulsive move. This is the second impulsive move. And this is the third one. Look at another example of a downtrend market. This is the British Pound USA Dollar for our chart. As you can see, the market is trending down. So the impulsive move are the ones that drive prices lower. All right. So in this example, this is the first impulsive move. This is the second one. And this is the third one. What you have to know as a price action trader is that after an impulsive move comes a retracement move. So what is a retracement move? Retracements are short-term price corrections during an overall larger uptrend or downtrend. As you can see in this example, the market formed an impulsive move, followed by a short retracement move, another impulsive move, followed by another retracement move. And the trend in market moves this way. So to make money in this type of markets, you have to be able to identify the end of the retracement move and the beginning of the impulsive move. To do so, most traders use the Fibonacci retracement tool to predict the end of the retracement move and predict the beginning of the impulsive move. This is why it is called the Fibonacci retracement tool. So let me now show you how to use the Fibonacci retracement tool. For beginner traders who don't know how to find the Fibonacci retracement, just open your MetaTrader 4 or 5, click on this icon, as you can see here. You click on this icon and click where you want the Fibonacci retracement to start. Let me give you this example. As you can see, this is the Fibonacci retracement tool and as you see, it has different levels, 23.6 level, 38.2 level, 50% level, 61.8 level, 100 levels. So the Fibonacci retracement tool has different levels. When using the Fibonacci retracement tool, we focus only on the 50% and 61.8 Fibonacci retracement because most retracement moves end at the 50% and 61.8 Fibonacci. Let me now give you an example. Look at the same British pound US dollar for our chart. As you can see, this is an impulsive move. So we know that the beginning of the impulsive move is here and the end is here at this point. To predict the end of this retracement move and the beginning of the next impulsive move, we use the Fibonacci retracement tool. So we start from the beginning of the impulsive move, as you can see, till the end. All right. And as you can see, when the market approached the 50% or the 61.8 levels, Prices were rejected, indicating the end of the retracement move and the beginning of the next impulsive move. The same thing happened here. As you can see, this is an impulsive move. This is the beginning of the impulsive move, and this is the end of it. When price approached the 50% and 61.8% Fibonacci retracement, the market was rejected, forming a nice inside bar. Look at another example. This is the Euro GPY for our chart. This is the beginning of the impulsive move, as you can see, and this is the end 
of the impulsive move. So we will try to use the Fibonacci retracement. So we start from the beginning till the end. All right. As you can see, when the market retraced back to test the 50% and the 61.8% Fibonacci retracement, the market was rejected forming this inside bar. And this is the beginning of the next impulsive move. So let me give you another example. This is the beginning of the next impulsive move. And this is the end of the impulsive move. All right. Okay. So as you can see, when the market retraced back to test the 50% Fibonacci retracement, the market was rejected. And this is the beginning of the next impulsive move. I think that now you have an idea of how we use Fibonacci levels. In the next lessons, you will learn how to combine Fibonacci levels, especially the 50% and 61.8% Fibonacci retracement with supply and demand zone.